Master Ken here with another secret street fighting tip. Recently I came across a viral video online which showed me a new weapon being used in street combat. The weapon? Twisted T. And I can understand why. Take a look at it. It's long, it's thick, it's cylindrical, and it's full of fluid. So it's perfect for face banging. That's why today's video is all about the Twisted T technique. Now, this incident occurred at a convenience store between a man wearing a mask and a man not wearing a mask. There was a tense exchange of words, and then this guy called this guy a ninja. In this day and age, you can't go around using the N-word. Just because I'm wearing a black mask doesn't mean I'm a ninja. Maybe I like Hapkido. Maybe I'm into that Taekwondo bull****. If you assume someone's fighting style, that's called martial profiling, and martial profiling is wrong. So if you're going to go around randomly calling people a ninja, don't be surprised if one of them tees off on your face. Here's how it went down. This guy set his items down on the counter and said, smack me. If someone demands that, you must hit them. It's a little known legal principle known as obligatory contact. You are obligated to strike him. Hence the term obligatory. If I do not obey his order, I can be prosecuted for failure to strike. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my twisted T. I'm going to do what is called a feint. In boxing, that's when I move my body in such a way to mislead my opponent. I'm going to do a little flip, pretend to drop my T. He thinks I want to play kick the can, but it's a tactic. I move it out of the way. He's off balance. When he sets down his weight, he'd better take the rest of the day off because he's about to get canceled. Now that he's down, you can go for that ground and pound bullshit. But I say, why not continue to use the can? I'm grabbing a fresh can, I can take this, put it in my pants, and do what's called a tea bag. Boom. 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 If I get a bunch of friends to join me, and we do that until the cans explode, that's called a Boston Tea Party. Or I could try a bird of a different feather and use two cans. Two cans, folks. Now I'm going to treat him like D. Snyder, turning him into a twisted sister by crushing D's nuts. <laughs> then, as always, restomp that groin. <laughs> I'm Master Ken. That was another secret street fighting tip. Thus.